Hola, hello everybody, Rudolphverse here, man, we are back, your favorite Pokemon TCG YouTuber, I guess you could say, um, we're back with this Garchomp deck, we had a lot of fun with it yesterday, uh, so I wanted to bring it back, uh, I was trying to get on earlier, but it was some issues earlier with, uh, and I don't even actually list, yeah, I think we should be able to get into a match, I think everything's fine now, but definitely some issues earlier logging on and they made a note of it on the login screen um but yeah so it looks uh, like everything's okay now um i had to recreate my trainer guy or whatever because it was like reset and again i have headphones on and that i usually don't stream with so or, or record with um so hopefully uh the audio comes out all right these so if there's any issues or something's too loud or you guys hear too much background noise, just let me know. So I know not to use these again. But anyways, let's jump into it. Uh, and I can explain the deck as I guess as we go. So let's see what we can find here. Yeah. Take me. I was able to find a match, so that's good. Like I said, I was kind of concerned. Awesome. Uh, one thing, if you guys did not check out the other stream, please, please, please go watch our first recording of this deck. Uh, this isn't a new deck per se, because like I said uh, in my other video, this is just a uh, um, updated version um, with the new cards currently, things like that. And we go first, so uh, I guess we'll, we'll just go out straight with Garchomp here. Uh, I haven't used this deck in a while, but I do know Lucario sometimes is the better option. Just because he can, for sure, if we can get an attack off with him too. Uh, but okay, so here we go. Let's see. What we're going to do here. Sorry if you can hear all the moving I'm doing. All right, so we're going to do... We're going to put Radiant Greninja. Oh! Uh, okay. We really didn't have to do this. But we have energy retrieval already, so that's that's good to see. Let's get another Garchomp down. And what are we what deck? We don't even know what deck we're playing. Uh so hopefully we don't need Jirachi. <laughs> okay, so or Man of Fear or anybody like that. I can't remember what this deck does, but I think they're a turn two deck as well. So either way, we have plenty of time. Um so here we go. So we can for sure get an attack off next turn with Garchomp. Regardless of like how everything plays out, uh, we can we have energy retrieval, get the energy out that we need. Um, and we can get our red candy, so. We're in good shape here. Good shape early on. No complaints with this opening hand. Um, this deck seems to play a lot better than when I used to have the VIP pass. Just because with the buddy buddy po poffins, poofins, however you say it. Uh, it's, oh, it's a little good. Okay. It just seems to play a lot. But this may actually makes sense. Because I think, actually, I think I know what that card. I think I do know what this card does now, actually. So, hopefully, if he, can, if he subs out here, that sucks. What which, which energy is this? Is this the gift one? Or no? Oh, it's just miss. Okay, that's fine. Ooh. Okay. A lot of options here. I think I know what we're going to do here. Only one rare... Okay. Noted. Only one rare candy sitting in our thing. So we're not going to make that play yet. Hopefully we draw the rare candy here. But I was going to go ahead 
and get Pidgeot out. But that doesn't seem to be a viable option here. And we're not going to risk the Greninja here. We're just going to we're gonna play it safe, get this attack off, and uh, keep it pushing here. We're not threatened by anything right now. I really wanted to get... So that means three of our rare candies are in the uh, prize pool, so... As I said, I'm eating right now, so hopefully I'm not too loud, hopefully. <laughs> hmm. So there's Lugia, but I don't even, did you get, oh, okay, he did manage to get to, um, our Cleops in his uh his discard pile. I didn't see when, I guess I wasn't paying attention, but If we do 160 here, I'm debating if we, uh, this is the risky play. But it's our only play at this point, so. We desperately need energy next turn. Great. He almost had the perfect hand there. Great. Not what we needed to see there.
It's like, do we give up? Cause uh, if he boss orders us later, this is he can oko us. Let me see. I guess we get rid of the Grenin Greninja here. No energy right now. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, we lost this one. We're conceding. He had the per he literally his his hand was so small and but he kept getting the perfect draws every turn. He got the perfect draw every turn there. I mean the perfect like yep, basically a perfect draw. Which is unfortunate for us. We had a decent start. Uh, one thing I was worried about is I knew I knew we needed when I saw we only had one rare candy. I knew we needed one more KO. We needed one. We desperately needed one more knockout. And that is why it's so important to get Pidgeot out um, for that exact reason. And that is why also we carry a lot of um, Professor researches because. We can we can we can pretty much go through our entire hand in like two turn in about turn two, so we ne really need to refill our hand most turns. Again, us going first is exactly what we need. Hopefully you guys can't hear me eating too much, but man, I hate. Do you guys hate, is there anyone else that hates eating like meat and then you, you like feel something hard in the meat? I can't be the only one. Like you just eating, then you like feel something crunchy in the meat. It, it always like just makes me go eh, every time. Jirachi, we'll get another, uh, you know, also, yeah, yeah, we just need Jirachi, I think. And we're good, let me see. I don't think we need Menifee. Yes, actually, we'll take that. Ah, we just really kind of need, uh, you know, we don't have a rare candy yet, though, so we can't be greedy here. Um, debating who I want to get rid of. I don't think we need the mana fee. Hopefully, I don't regret this. Again, I don't know why we, we, we probably need to put more energy in this deck, honestly. It's what it's starting to look, feel like. Most turns are starting to make me feel like, why don't I have more energy here?
Oh wow, that's a strong card. That is a really good card to have for turn one. That is extremely rare that you're gonna get this card in your hand. On top of that, and he was able to get an attack off. Wow. I've never seen anyone actually even attack with this this uh with iron failure variant. Um Let's go with the, uh, yeah, let's go with the knockout here, <laughs> honestly. Okay, perfect. We can get Garchomp out next turn as well. It's just I really want to get Pidgeot. Good, more energy. So that kind of helps us out next turn. We can discard some energy here. Did you? You must have another Psychic in the back. Oh, also, I, I see the value of this deck now too, actually. Oh, this deck makes a lot more sense now. Because you're doing you're doing two hundred, then you then you switch out. So you're basically doing two. You're basically doing two twenty every turn. You switch out again. That's two forty. So this this actually works really well. I just haven't seen this deck since they took out the escape rope. That that doesn't matter. That did that didn't matter for us at all. <laughs> I was thinking about getting two Pidgeots down, but. Okay, we got a second draw here. Looks like unfortunate for us, the second draw was our uh of course. We could have really we could have got a Pidgeot that turned out, but it's fine. You know, we're here now, so let's just dump into it, I guess. Let's just go ahead and set up. That's no point. Just in case we get IUNIT or something. Might as well go ahead and set up. Here. Yep. Regret your decision, sir, because you definitely hit the wrong one. And what, here's here's another interesting thing with this deck is like it's it's so look look at look at the field now now tell me what tell me what you would do here you have a Lucario that is pretty much gonna one shot anyone on your team and then you have this massive two twenty Garchomp who do you attack who do you attack here. Two hundred. So 
So you still get one shot it. You still get one shot at next turn by Lucario and uh, uh energy some thing. Okay, there's our Pidgey. Uh, I don't know how many more rare candies we have left, though, so it may not mean much. Uh, so. And I probably should have subbed out my Garchomp to the other one, but this is fine. So. What's she doing now? 20? Oh my god, this man is so threatened by the, the Pidgeot, it's crazy. Oh my, oh my goodness. Wow. Did he do that just to get the knockout? To 50, is that enough? No, that's fine. What's your uh, do you have a weakness? No weakness, but you're not tanking. Uh, what's his name? So, How much are we doing? Two fifty. Let's do. Let's get a counter catcher out. Actually, let's do this, guys. Actually, I'll even do this.
How much are you doing? We need one more. Two forty. <laughs> and and we get the perfect uh we get yep, perfect play I think his hands should be relatively small I don't think he's gonna I don't know I don't know what he could do anything he does is gonna take two turns to You know what? You it does, and it doesn't even it doesn't even matter what he does here, cause and he 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 couldn't Ayuna us that turn. He couldn't switch out that turn. So insult to injury. I could I just cause I don't know, but I think I could I could have Sonic driven him. And took out his other uh, thing, but we're just gonna we're gonna take the easy route here and just end the game. But yep, he uh, yeah, I was I was definitely intimidated by that uh, I forget the Iron Crown, the Iron Iron Crown, no, the. Ah. Which one is it? Which one is the Galade? That's the future Galade. I forget his name. I was definitely threatened by the one that had energy on it. But I knew that it couldn't... If I could Oko it, we weren't threatened. He he needed two turns to set up. It's one of those decks that I think... Get, once he got... like He he put too much emphasis on uh, our Pidgeot. Oh my god. Another turn we go first. That is Ha. I guess my deck is uh looking real good. Everyone's copying me. Uh, we're in we're in really good shape here. If we can, uh, what we desperately need is Ayuna next turn. If I'm gonna be real here, but I think we can we can force that ourselves actually. I very, very rarely go against a mirror deck because this deck just isn't that popular. So I'm, I'm very, I'm. It's funny to see this deck actually. Oh, he's using Beedoof instead. Okay. Oof. Now that we got energy, it kind of makes it a tough case now. It's like, do we still... Uh, yeah, let's... Let's not be it, it, good. like if we can get the attack off. Let's start. Let's get the attack off. I a lot of times I'm like, uh, but if we can like mow him down before he gets to us, then we're good. The only negative here is if he if he can get a guard jump out, 
If he can get guard jump out, then we're kind of in a bad spot, but because he go he attacks first, so. Can you Evo here? Is that's the question? And he has a yeah, okay. That's what the heck else is in the back of this deck for him to Temple of Sino? Did, when did they bring Temple of Sino back? Oh no, no, I'm thinking of uh, Path of Peak, Path to Peak. All right, looks like that was the right play, but uh, your guard jump, the guard jump threatens us too much here, especially for, especially for it to go. Uh, if he, because he'll attack me first, so it's kind of a oh perfect. So now we can if he if he sends out Greninja, that's fine. Oh Bidoof, that's interesting. I guess he wants to keep his draw engine going with Greninja, which is fine with me. Totally fine with me. Uh, we just happened to get the better setup. And I was thinking about going with Pidgey out there. But lucky for us, he could not get his Garchomp out. I was thinking about Pidgey out and then Ayuna and praying that we got a uh, another rare candy and a Garchomp. That was kind of the play last turn. So, just kind of... Don't have to do too much here. Just kind of mow, mow him down. Only thing I gotta be fearful of is Ayuna here, kind of. Uh, not at any point right now, but it, the the next play I'm thinking about doing is Sonic Drive. Mm hmm. Okay, so much for the Sonic Drive. Yep, yeah, that's why I was hesitant. The play I was going to make next, I was scared of getting Ayuna through. Wait, what? But you can't attack us this turn, right? I was like, please give me Greninja. He, he usually likes to hide away somewhere, but let me, let me please get Greninja. Perfect. Um, really connects for a better second hand than this. Uh, where do we want our energy to go? Oh, we should have did this first and gave, well, yeah. Yeah, we should give the other one to this Gibble here. And I think this is fine. Just one. Professor Research here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We are in really good shape here for the next turn, so. Uh, I cannot ask for more, so. 
Alright, we'll leave it at that. And we'll go ahead and start building up our Lucario. This deck also, a lot of times, is like setting yourself up for next turn. And that can be bad. Like, this deck, like, right now, we were able to get three uh, three knockouts really quick, back-to-back. -back. No real issues there. And he, ooh. This is, oh, that makes sense. I was like, a Raging Bolt deck. I guess that makes sense. I guess he's going to pull out an Ultra Ball here for the B-Barrel, is what I would assume. Oh, no, he, okay. A Super Rod. So, I wonder why he didn't sub out here. Huh. Interesting choice to not sub out there. Alright, so. Alright. Okay, and we have another word candy in the back. That's great. That is great to see. I'm gonna pull out our other word candy. Go ahead and keep both our guard chomps nice and healthy or try to preserve one. Is what the plan is here. One, two. Once again, the, this deck. It, yeah, the okay, like it almost seems like the worst case scenario. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't. Uh, he got rid of that. Uh, oh, he already he couldn't use uh, per, boss order. I was like, why not boss order here? Why not boss order our Pidgeot or something? Um, one of the biggest things I want to say we're going against or I like, against this deck. Like the the only negatives is sometimes this deck. Oh, he had a primer catcher. That makes sense. So, yeah, who cares? And can you switch out again? Or, or no? Okay, that was... I, don't know. I, I try to... I'm, I, I try not to waste people. A lot of times when I have a, a, a just an easy win, I, I nowadays just go ahead and get the win. I don't even try to play around anymore. A lot of times I'd be like, ooh. I think one time, you know, this game's always been a little glitchy. And one time I want to say I was doing a bunch of, like, random stuff at the end, even though I had a sh for sure to win. I had a, I was just started doing a bunch of random stuff, and I want to say my game froze on me or glitched on me, and I couldn't even get the win at that point because I couldn't do anything else. And this game is always so glitchy and buggy sometimes. And that's why nowadays I just go just go straight for the attack if I have the win. Now I don't even want to risk it. Um, so but yeah. Hold it one second. Yeah, so I've I've played a lot of Garchomp, especially since his release. If you go watch my other video, I was talking about how how I just loved uh, love Garchomp, and I was looking for a Garchomp deck um, for a long time. Uh, before they, as soon as I was like, I was like, I want a Garchomp deck. I want to make a Garchomp deck, but all the Garchomp cards were either like out of the standard, so I couldn't use them, at least in a rank, or uh, they just weren't good, and uh, mainly they just weren't good. And uh, so because of that, we. They dropped this EX Charizard like literally the season after I was thinking about it, and I was like, perfect, perfect timing. So I definitely uh, immediately made the Garchomp deck, and I want to say this is the most consistent 
that it's been. This is the most unbeatable the deck has been. And I played a lot of it. I played a lot of this guard jump. And this is deck feels really unbeatable right now. Uh it, it, when when obviously every deck's beatable with a poor hand. If you have a poor draw, poor hand, uh it <laughs> If you got the worst coin flip, I mean, your deck's pretty... If they get everything going, they go first, and I have I have nothing nothing to show on, on my first turn, which, which is turn two or something like that. Then, yeah, you can, you, can beat, you can beat the deck pretty easy. But, like, when we both have the right hand, I don't know. It's not many decks I think that can beat us if we both have the right hand. The biggest one is, I want to say probably Charizard. Probably Charizard with the with the right hand. Uh, if you if you can get out three Charizard ex three ex Charizards, it's pretty. That's gonna be pretty tough to beat. Um, to be strength, but to be fair, um, they're a two shot. We're a two shot. They're a two shot. We're a two shot. So it's kind of a trade back and forth with that. Um, and we do have a way of kind of countering that. But the issue is if they have. Well, yeah, it's just a, it's just going to be a back and forth. So, and, and I'll give you the example is okay if we both set up, we we go tech with Garchomp, and we hope that we have three um, energies in our discard, or at least two in a discard, or even just one, because then we can, we can just hope one's in our hands and then use his ability. But then we use Lucario turn two, so. We attack turn one, use Lucario turn two. That way we can knock out Charizard in two turns. Now from there, if they send out another Charizard, we can rinse and repeat once they knock out our Lucario. The trouble is if they can, like, some way get, um, whether it's counter catch or both order, which most likely them EX Charizard decks always seem to run Pidgeot, so they can get with it, whichever one they need. Um, the trouble comes then where it's like, okay... Um, we're gonna now now they oko my now they oko my uh Garchomp because then we're back at square one unless we have another Garchomp ready to go next turn, then uh, we're kind of screwed there. Then we can rinse and repeat again. So we would just have to make sure we had two Garchomps if that if we go against a uh if we have to go against an EX Charizard deck. That's about it. Um, other than that, I think most of what I see we can pretty much. Be um the best Galloper decks take gonna it, it's gonna take them like the perfect hand to really beat us, and even with the perfect hand, uh it's still gonna be pretty tough because you know we can we can knock out their uh uh shape 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 power pretty easy um especially with Lucario um so uh, not too big of an issue um but like I said most of the standard decks right now uh this is probably out of one of the best ones right now with so many cards still being restricted uh like Gardevoir things like that so um definitely a really nice time we're having with this deck and uh, once again I hope you guys did enjoy this video um I enjoyed making them I enjoyed losing using this deck had we not had such a terrible draw turn that first game I think we could have won that one as well it's, especially if we could have got an attack off there but anyways like I said I hope you guys did enjoy Hit that like, subscribe button, run over to our peace.